Now, it's Philip E. Hardy from Screenwriters Talking Shop. And today, I want to talk to you about sending out query letters. I've been doing a lot this week um, because I was uh, out of the loop for several months this year um, taking care of myself. I wasn't able to really uh, do much activity in terms of writing and sending out pitches. So now I'm back on that horse. I'm riding again. I've got a new screenplay that I consider a lower budget to moderate action film, and I intend to promote the hell out of that one. So, um, I'm using IMDB Pro, which has a wealth of information available. However, it doesn't just jump out at you. You have to do the research to figure out what you're trying to do, what are you going to accomplish with these pitches. These are cold queries, so I'm sending out uh, unsolicited, whatever you want to call them, so you are up against it, right? Uh, and now, even though I've got a film produced uh, that will be released later this year, hopefully, I'm using that film uh, to leverage my career. Uh, I'm using everything I have in my arsenal, what I've done, my accomplishments. I put that in one paragraph, and then I give a brief query pitch to the person I'm sending it to. So right now I'm just looking for primarily producers and directors, obviously, that have made action movies. But uh, as I started off this week, I had a huge list of, of names, and I've been having to go through a lot of them because I'd say uh, 75 to 80% of them are crap. I mean, a lot of these people haven't made movies in years, um, or they're not the kind of people I would want to work with for a variety of reasons. So, do your research. The way I started off doing queries at the beginning of this week, all of a sudden, I had an epiphany today. I took a left turn and I'm doing something different. And I think that's working a lot better. I started netting a lot more results for what I'm looking for. I'd like to tell you what I did, but that's my little secret. So, if you're going to use IMDb as a source to send out query letters, Again, do your research, do the deep dive, as I call it. Again, you're sending out unsolicited queries, you are up against it, and I've, as I've said this many times, picture yourself as a salmon trying to swim up Niagara Falls. It just ain't that easy, but you can get through to people. Um, earlier this year, before I had my surgery, I actually got through to a, a well-known uh, producer-director who had an $80 million movie, which that's not too shabby, right? And this guy wound up reading four screenplays, uh, made me an offer actually to buy one of the ideas, which I didn't like. But the bottom line is I got that contact doing a unsolicited query. So the percentages will be low, but you can get through on these queries if, you, if your query is well written. And God forbid you have something that maybe somebody wants. So um, now let me get to uh, paid pitch services. I'm going to bag on those a little bit. Uh, as you've probably noticed, I posted something. I posted a midnight rant last night because I was pissed off at some ridiculous feedback I got. And that's why I, I think that a lot of these people that do these paid pitch sessions, particularly the guys that are doing the eight-minute verbal and two-page uh, written pitches, those, those people book probably 35, 40 queries, I mean, 35, 40 pitches in a day. So they got to read through all those. And most of these people are not high-level executives. You're not going to get through to Lawrence Bender or some other big filmmaker. You're getting through to lower-level industry people. Some of them are assistants. I looked up a lot of these people. One of these sources, they gave me a couple of free pitches and I was hard pressed to find any one of their so-called industry people that really had any heft to them. They were total lightweights. They hadn't done really anything that I gave a rat's ass about. So, hey, buyer beware if you want to go that route, go ahead. I am never doing those again. I think they're a total waste. The percentages are against you. Those companies are in business to make money. Those people doing the pitches use it as a supplementary income because they're lower level people. And they're, you know, again, you don't see Woody Allen doing uh, the $35 an hour paid pitch or $35 uh, paid pitch for eight minutes, right? So use your head, use your judgment. I am done with those. I haven't really done many this year. I did a couple of them. As I said, I lost my senses, but 
I'm hitting IMDB, which I pay the $150 a year for IMDB Pro. I'm hitting it hard, and that's where I hope to uh, get some action. Uh, times are tough. Times are tough, uh, but certainly I think things are a lot better than they were during the WGA SAG strike. There seems to be more action going on, but it's very hard to get through because uh, most people are looking for established writers. So that's my pearl of wisdom this afternoon. This is Phil Hardy with Screenwriters Talking Shop.